It has been nearly a decade since we last saw Robert McCall take down the Russian mobsters and exact revenge upon the bad guys who killed his friend. This year, Denzel Washington will have yet another chance to prove himself and to jump back as McCall in the third installment of the Equalizer franchise, and this is what you can expect. Shit. Let's go, Miles. Sit oh, down. Shit. Sit down. Sit down. One type of movie that will seemingly never get old is the kind in which a retired ex-operative is called back into action to save someone or take revenge. Since the moment the first movie premiered, Washington managed to portray his character perfectly with fans demanding more and more from him. The first time we saw McCall in action was in the 2014 movie, followed by a sequel four years later. Although it has been some time since we've had any updates about the third movie, back in 2018, after the sequel came out, director Antoine Fuqua expressed his desire to continue the franchise with one more movie at least. I never had a chance to say how sorry I was about Vivian. However, after 2018, years have passed without any confirmation up until early 2022 when Fuqua officially confirmed that the movie would be made, with Washington returning to reprise his role. 2022 was an eventful year for Equalizer 3. A few months after the movie was confirmed, it was reported that they've already begun filming it in Europe. Multiple locations in Italy have been used for the first round of filming, which only shows us that we'll see McCall headed across the pond. While we did manage to get a slight insight behind the scenes of the filming, we still don't have a ton of information to go on. Details of the sequel are all being kept tightly under wraps, but as the filming progresses and moves forward, we do expect to learn more and more about it, and even see a trailer soon. With that being said, you can bet that McCall is coming back to fight bad guys. It's a mistake to go to war with us, McCall. You got it back, Luke, babe. You're going to war with me. Now, the real question is, when can we see this movie? For years, we've been patiently waiting to witness another incredible sequel of our beloved franchise, and once we saw that the movie was greenlit and was already being filmed, we had to wonder about its release date. Before you panic, there is a set release date, and it's September 1st, 2023, which isn't as far away as we thought it would be. We're only months away from getting eyes on this thing. Ever since the release it was announced, Washington's dual fans have been smashing that like button like you should be doing right now. It's all good. Yep. I got you back. <laughs> Appreciate it. But no, they've been counting the days to watch him on the big screen once again. Since the movie is currently filming, we must assume that the filming is scheduled to wrap any day now to meet the required release date. Our best guess is that the filming will conclude by March 2023, which would give the movie enough time in post-production and enough time to release a trailer for us to watch. We must say, we're more than excited to see McCall on a brand new adventure, one that will take place outside of the United States. For now, we can all just remain patient and continue waiting for more information about the story and see when the trailer might drop. But that's not all we know about the movie, although most of it is kept a secret, there has been some information revealed about it and we're more than happy to share it all. The State Department doesn't know a thing about it, Grace. No one does. Well, as we already mentioned, Washington is on board to reprise his role as Robert McCall. Apart from Washington, the only other confirmed cast member is Dakota Fanning. However, her role remains to be uncovered. The two have been already working together in the past on the Tony Scott film Man on Fire, and they're reuniting again for the Equalizer sequel. Considering the series' previous entries, it's unlikely that anyone from the first or the second movie would return in the third installment. However, it's still too early to tell, and we have a long way before anyone else can confirm. Hey, Mr. McCall. Yeah. I think the bleeding stopped. We're good. In the first two movies, we also saw Melissa Leo and Bill Pullman as Suzanne and Brian Plummer, but given that Leo's character died in the second film, it's unlikely that she'll be coming back. As for Pullman, given how the second movie played out, it would also be hard for him to make it back into the third one. Much like the first two movies, we're looking at an all-new cast, with only Washington back in the Tyler role, behind the scenes, Fuqua is coming back as the director, as he has already helped both movies so far. Honey, the front doorbell is broken. Your old army buddy was at the back door for almost five minutes. Actually, I was his team leader, seven years. This was announced in January 2022 when Fuqua shared his excitement about another movie in the franchise. Since both Terry and Miles managed to survive their films and leave on good terms with McCall, we might see them return. However, no formal announcements about the actress have been made as of yet. It's also likely that Richard Wank will return as the writer in the third movie since he has written the script for the two previous movies, but it still hasn't been confirmed, although it would make a lot of sense to have him back. Should I do this for 350? <laughs> you? Yeah. 
The entire Equalizer franchise, consisting of two movies so far, has been loosely based on the 1980s show of the same name, and it shows McCall, a retired military special operative, in the movies, we see him keeping things quiet and taking all sorts of easy retirement jobs, but he gets sucked into conspiracy and mayhem without much friction. This gives him a chance to unleash the killing skills he has learned throughout his life. Both of the movies were incident stories that didn't overlap with each other. In the first movie, McCall ends up trying to protect a teenager from the Russian mafia. Throughout the movie, he works his way through the organization to get revenge for the treatment of, of the teenage girl. Oh, hey, and how about some of that delicious Belgian chocolate you're always talking about? Or oh, you're not getting on the plane. <laughs> In the second movie, McCall is simply minding his own business until his former partner in covert operations is killed. This forces McCall to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, it forces him to uncover what truly happened, and through the entire movie, he ends up leaving behind a body count that would make his revenge movie Brethren Proud. Both movies gained a huge amount of success, with the first one earning $192 million and the second one earning $190 million. With the huge success of the previous movies, we highly believe that fans of Washington will be pleased with the third one and that it will give them just the right amount of fight scenes and action as the previous movies. While we already know what happened in the previous two movies and how those events unfolded, we're more than eager to see what's next for McCall and what kind of trouble will he get himself into this time around. What you do, what you become is not my concern. The world is full of so-called men like you. Even though there aren't official details revealed about the plot, the official synopsis for the movie reads, the further exploits of former operative Robert McCall, which doesn't reveal much. Our best guess is that McCall will follow a similar path as the first two films. Foucault has previously said he had hoped to take McCall's adventures internationally, and given that the movie is filming in Europe, it's likely that we'll see him on an overseas trip. We believe it's fair to assume that McCall will be handling yet another new case in the upcoming film, where he'll likely help those less fortunate. We wish there was more to discover, that the entire plot of the movie is still being kept a secret, with no way of knowing what could happen. Since Fanning is joining the cast, we believe that she could be the reason for McCall to go to Europe. At the end of the second movie, McCall returns to his oceanfront house in Massachusetts, where he lived along with his now deceased wife. The third movie will likely begin with him still at his house, before taking him across the ocean. Although most of this is speculation, we'd like to believe that he'll go face to face with another dangerous organization to protect or save someone and in the meantime get revenge for their wrongdoings. There's still a long way to go before we get to confirm anything about the plot of this movie, but we have high hopes that Washington and Foucault will not disappoint us and will give us another incredible masterpiece and likely more to come in the future. Check out this video next. 